Let us stand and recite the entrance antiphon. Let us all rejoice in the Lord as we celebrate the feast day in honour of all the saints, at whose festival the angels rejoice and praise the Son of God. So as we gather, we pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us acknowledge our sins. I confess to To Almighty Almighty God God, and and to you, my brothers brothers and sisters, that I have gravely sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray pray for for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and and on on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, You take take away away the the sins sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever living God, by whose gift we venerate in one celebration the merits of all the saints, bestow on us, we pray through the prayers of so many intercessors, an abundance of the reconciliation with you, for which we earnestly long, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the Apocalypse. I, John, saw another angel rising where the sun rises, carrying the seal of the living God. He called in a powerful voice to the four angels whose duty was to devastate land and sea. Wait before you do any damage on land or at sea, or to the trees, until we have put the seal on the foreheads of the servants of our God. Then I heard how many were sealed, a hundred and forty-four thousand out of all the tribes of Israel. After that, I saw a huge number, impossible to count, 
of people from every nation, race, tribe and language. They were standing in front of the throne and in front of the Lamb, dressed in white robes and holding palms in their hands. They shouted aloud, Victory to our God who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. And all the angels who were standing in a circle round the throne, surrounding the elders and the four animals, prostrated themselves before the throne and touched the ground with their foreheads, worshipping God with these words. Amen. Praise and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honour and power and strength to our God for ever and ever. Amen. One of the elders then spoke and asked me, Do you know who these people are, dressed in white robes, and where they have come from? I answered him, You can tell me, my Lord. Then he said, these are the people who have been through the great persecution and they have washed their robes white again in the blood of the Lamb. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Such are the men who seek your face, O Lord. The Lord is the earth and its fullness, the world and all its peoples. It is He who set it on the seas, on the waters He made it firm. Who shall climb the mountain of the Lord? Who shall stand in His holy place? The man with clean hands and pure heart, who desires not worthless things. He shall receive blessings from the Lord and reward from the God who saves him. Such are the men who seek him, seek the face of the God of Jacob. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Think of the love that the Father has lavished on us by letting us be called God's children. And that is what we are. Because the world refused to acknowledge Him, therefore it does not acknowledge us. My dear people, we are already the children of God but what we are to be in the future has not yet been revealed. All we know is that when it is revealed, we shall be like Him because we shall see Him as He really is. Surely, everyone who entertains this hope must purify himself, must try to be as pure as Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us stand to welcome the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. Come to me, all you who labor and are overburdened, and I will give you rest, says the Lord. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Seeing the crowds, Jesus went up the hill. There he sat down and was joined by his disciples. Then he began to speak. This is what he taught them. How happy are the poor in spirit, 
This is the kingdom of heaven. Happy the gentle, they shall have the earth for their heritage. Happy those who mourn, they shall be comforted. Happy those who hunger and thirst for what is right, they shall be satisfied. Happy the merciful, they shall have mercy shown them. Happy the pure in heart, they shall see God. Happy the peacemakers, they shall be called sons of God. Happy those who are persecuted in the cause of right. Theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Happy are you when people abuse you and persecute you and speak all kinds of calumny against you on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today we celebrate All Saints Day. And actually, what are we celebrating? Yes, we are celebrating those saints that do not have a feast day. But more importantly, the church is celebrating together. Actually, you know, the feast today, All Saints Day, and the feast of All Souls Day are all bounded together because this is where the church celebrates itself. Why I say the church celebrates itself? Because the church that is on pilgrimage, that is all of us, we are rejoicing today because those who have gone before us is in heaven. And so we are celebrating the church triumphant because they have won the victory already. They are in heaven, as I said. And then when we celebrate All Souls Day, we celebrate the church that is suffering. That is, that they are in purgatory. And these days are this celebration of this church of ours, that there is these three levels of church, the church triumphant, the church on pilgrimage, and the church suffering. And as we celebrate All Saints Day, yes, we rejoice with those who have gained their reward. But it's not just rejoicing and seeing those people up there. They are there, or, you know, if you notice, where you sit, they are all saints around us now. They are not just there, and we are celebrating them. As we celebrate All Saints Day, we are also celebrating the day where we too, one day, will take our place in heaven. It gives us hope. It gives us hope that, you know, if we live that life, that good life, we will take our place amongst the saints. And heaven will be ours. You know, in the first reading from the book of Apocalypse, it gives us that vision of heaven. where, you know, you have this huge number of people cannot be counted. They are all there worshipping God. Basically, they are all there just like us when we come for Mass. Mass is the foretaste of heaven. So, 
we come together to worship God. Now, we should have, like I said, we should be encouraged and we should have this vision of heaven. But we should not be disappointed as what we read in the book of Apocalypse, where it says in the first part, only 144,000 are saved, are marked with the seal and will go to heaven. You know, if we study the book of Apocalypse, the book of Apocalypse is not a scary book as what we think it may be. The, the main purpose of the book of Apocalypse or the book of Revelation is to encourage the persecuted Christians and they use signs and symbols to encourage. So one of the signs and symbols is numbers. Okay? For the Jew, numbers are important. So first thing, how do you get 144,000? First thing, to get 144, you, you can add it in many ways, but if we take Jewish understanding, the 12 tribes of Israel, that means they say the whole of Israel. Okay? If you take 12 times 12, you get 144. So, 144, two times it means humans. Number two is a human number. And so, 12 times 12, 144. The tribes of Israel among the tribes of Israel. So that's a multitude. And then you times a thousand. For them, once you hit a thousand, it's multitudes of people. So, tribe upon tribe upon multitude. That means it's not just a physical number of 144,000. So, John is trying to tell us that all those who follow God will go to heaven. All those who are dressed in white. And who are the ones dressed in white? Those who are baptized. As you continue on to read, those who have washed their clothes in the blood of the Lamb. That means those who are baptized in Christ that will be saved. And so, the book of Revelation today encourages us to say that, yes, we all have a place in heaven. We all, as Jesus says in the gospel, I go and prepare you a place. So as we celebrate today, All Saints Day, we are reminded that we have a place in heaven. We all can take our seats amongst those who have gone before us. As what St. John in his letter in the second reading says, at the end we will be like him, like Christ who is glorified because of the way we lead our lives. And what is that way that we should lead our lives so that we can gain heaven? And that is what we read in today's gospel. That's why today's gospel doesn't speak about heaven. The church chooses today's gospel as the one from the Beatitudes. The attitudes that we all need to have. Poor in spirit. To be gentle. So first thing, to be poor in spirit is to depend on God. To be poor in the eyes of the Jew is to be what 
the technical term they use is the anawim of God, the one who is dependent on God. So we need to be poor in spirit. The poor are the ones depending on God. They rely on God. And so we too have to be that. We too have to be gentle towards others. We too need to mourn for what we have done wrong. We need to stand up for justice when we speak about hunger and thirst for what is right. We need to be merciful as God is merciful. We need to be forgiving to those around us. We need to have a pure heart. A pure in heart doesn't mean that we don't sin. The pure in heart means that the heart longs for God only. That's why you can see God. We need to bring peace to our world. And then we need to do what is right in our world. Then, you know, when we stand up for what is right, what is just, then people will then persecute us and all that. Which happens. We need to live this life so that at the end we can then claim that pride. So that at the end, we can, like what St. Paul says, I have run the race and I have won the victory. And that victory is heaven. So, my dear brothers and sisters, today, yes, we rejoice on, the, on this day where the saints who have gone before us are now with God. We rejoice that they are there. But we are also reminded that our place is in heaven. At the end, when we finish our life here, heaven is waiting for us. And then we can take our place amongst the saints where we can praise God. But we need to live that life. That life which the Beatitudes call us to. Which the saints have lived it out. So if we live the life the, which the Beatitudes call us to, we then can gain heaven. That's our hope. That's our final goal, our final destination. And so, we need to remember this and we need to do our best to follow the Beatitudes. Let us stand and let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, Begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became men. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. 
I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. As we celebrate our com communion with the saints who have gone before us, we humbly turn to God and ask Him to hear our prayers. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all Catholics, that we will emulate the holy men and women of the Church by devoting our lives to Christ, and placing him above all earthly things. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For world leaders, that they will protect the right of everyone to worship God and unite to end religious and ra racial intolerance and hate crimes. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those undergoing trials, sickness, and persecution, that they will find solace and inspiration in the saints and persevere in trusting God to help them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For our candidates and catechumens, that Christ's transforming grace will wash away doubt and fear, increase their missionary zeal, and deepen their faith. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For us, parishioners, that the courage, faith, and conviction shown by the martyrs of the Church will inspire us to live by the Beatitudes in our parish communities, and our families. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Father, help us to return the love you show, you shower on us by obediently doing your will. Purify our hearts so that we might one day be worthy to rejoice with your saints in your eternal presence. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer, fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it become for us our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
my dear sisters and my dear brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May these offerings we bring in honour of all the saints be pleasing to you, O Lord, and grant that just as we believe the saints to be already assured of immortality, so we may experience their concern for our salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For today, by your gift, we celebrate the festival of your city, the heavenly Jerusalem, our Mother, where the great array of our brothers and sisters already gives you eternal praise. Towards her, we eagerly hasten as pilgrims advancing by faith. Rejoicing in the glory bestowed upon those exalted members of the church, through whom you give us in our frailty both strength and good example. And so, we glorify you with the multitude of saints and angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full, full of your of glory. glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. highest. Blessed so is he who comes in the name, name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew form, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, 
We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of this body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth, on earth as, as it is, it is in, in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but, but deliver, deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us recite the communion antiphon. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Let us pray. As we adore you, O God, who alone are holy and wonderful in all your saints, we implore your grace, so that coming to perfect holiness in the fullness of your love, we may pass from this pilgrim table to the banquet of our heavenly homeland, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, proclaiming the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs>